Welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back to the study of success. Why do we study success? The goal is for it to be one of the keys to access the doors of the good life. And you ask yourself, everyone at some point, what is the good life? The good life means different things to different people. In this course on success, the key that we give is the one that unlocks the opportunities for business success. That's the success that you will find when you are operating, maintaining, and growing a profitable business. But in order to do so, there are some things and some tools that you're going to need in your toolbox. One of those is business intelligence. So in this video, I'm going to give you five ways to increase your business intelligence. But before I get started, here's a message from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Greenfellow Accounting Solutions, where we offer premium bookkeeping, payroll, and tax preparation services at affordable rates. Let's see how we can service you. Send us an email with your contact information to get a free consultation. Here are the five ways to increase your business intelligence. Number one, read. Be a learner. I make a habit of reading every day for at least 30 minutes. It's usually a business-related book or self-improvement-related book or topic. What this does is help put your mindset into a perpetual state of always growing. One of the things that you'll learn to do is see the positive or the opportunity in every situation so that every challenge or obstacle becomes not something to avoid, but something to overcome. With the right mindset, you'll be able to get there. So reading reinforces that. So when I say read, you got to read the right stuff, of course, and it should be something positive on a daily basis. Number two, you need to engage your employees, your customers or clients, and other businesses. One of the ways to develop or increase your business intelligence is to, goes back to number one, learn. So the first way is by reading, and the second way is by engaging. Engage the people that you're doing business with. Engage your competitors. Engage other small businesses that's not in your area, but are facing similar challenges because what you will find in business is that no matter what type of business it is, we all tend to face the same issues and problems. And talking and engaging with other business owners will help you see or get a different perspective. They help you get perspective on the situation. Number three, network. Network for business development is a way of not only getting new customers, getting to meet new business owners, entrepreneurs, educators, other professionals. It helps expand your reach. It's an old saying that goes, your network reveals your net worth. And that comes down to poor people hang with poor people, rich people hang with rich people. The more and professional people hang with professional people, blue collar people hang with blue collar people. They're, they're, they're usually we hang in our groups that we associate with. So the more you network, the more you expand your business network, you'll find that it can create opportunities for you that you wouldn't normally have by staying or maintaining your same circle. So you'll, you want to expand that. And that's one of the ways that you'll increase your business intelligence. Number four, experiment. What do I mean when I say experiment? I mean that from reading, from engaging, and from networking, you're gonna come up with ideas. And these ideas may seem strange, they may seem odd, they may seem weird, they may seem radical. So what? Experiment, see if it works. It may not work for you, but it might. It worked for someone else, you might have a similar outcome or benefit from using whatever uh, uh, new thing that you're gonna try. And as long as you're experimenting with the purpose of helping to better 
serve your client or customer or increase your market share or your customer base, go for it. And if it doesn't work, change and do something else. Be curious about how different things that you introduce to your business model will affect your business model in the future. You never know. So go for it. And number five, some people don't like to do this because they want to pie all to themselves. But number five is to share. Teach and help other small business owners, other entrepreneurs. By sharing, by giving away what you have received, it actually opens the door to further blessings that you probably wouldn't even have imagined or seen coming. What I have found is that all of the information that I gather, all of the uh, education that I attain, when I give it away freely, not only does it make me feel better because I'm helping someone else, but it has opened doors of opportunities that um, I wouldn't even imagine. I never know where my next blessing is coming from. So sharing is a type of mentality that you'd want to develop in order to expand your reach. The more you can give, the more you can receive. Open up your arms so that you can receive the world. So those are the five ways to increase your business intelligence. And I hope this video helped you. If it has, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell for weekly content on business related issues. Don't forget to leave me your comments or questions below. I look forward to reading them and responding. Thank you for watching another lesson in success. Until the next time, I'll see you in the good life.